watching Millie limp away from me. That's cool. Oh, Moose. My heart. It's weird how normal it is to just watch Millie act like a seal now. Like, sometimes I think about how actually weird it is and how other people probably think she's, like, in immense pain. She's not, in case anyone's wondering. Oh, my God. I just found two clumps of hempwick. Ooh. That I've dropped. Hi, Knives. How are you? Cheer Kajirs? Kajirs. Exactly. Exactly, Viata. Cheers. I didn't know it was a mule when I was naming it Knives. That's the part that makes it, like, fate. He just said, hey, guys, I have an animal I need named. Suggest some. I was the only one who suggested anything. And then he turned it down. And he's like, nah, its name is Biscuit. It's like, why'd you ask? Forehead. <coughs> <clears throat> the mule Bartholo mule oh that's a really good one too actually you'd probably still say no to it because it has the word mule in it hey Megan we might need a new person to join <laughs> if we fucking murder Chris enough I'm just kidding <clears throat> Chris is a good guy he just needs to learn to not be a douche it's ruining everyone's time he's not cute not being cute you're not being cute Chris Nobody thinks you're cute. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Actually, funny story. Uh, my best friend as a kid used to own a pony named Biscuit, and it was an asshole, and it used to buck me off all the time. I think its name was Biscuit. I'm pretty positive its name was Biscuit. It was an asshole. Ponies are assholes in general, though. <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> yep. <coughs> yes, I mean, I mean, horses don't like anybody. Do you want to be ridden? You may want to rephrase that question. Do you want a tiny person to jump on your back and put a bridle on you and like force you to walk him around everywhere? And then like live in a stall when your your natural habitat is like, you know, the mountains? I don't know. I wouldn't want to. <laughs> um, only if I'm paid. Okay, yeah. No, no kink shaming. Although that one's pretty far out there. The salad, the salad? The uh, saddle and sh riding shit is pretty, that's pretty intense. That's pretty intense for me, personally. Uh. His character's dead, Alethea. Don't worry. Don't worry, be happy now. Boop, 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 do, 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 do. Don't worry. Do, 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 do. Be happy. Be happy. Do, 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 do. Don't worry. Be, be happy, happy now. Shit. Why is that at 94% suddenly? Is it the roads? Did you get pissed for some reason? Every road? We could change it to road, right? Road has its thorn. Every road has its Sure, yeah. There we go. They were too close. They were humping. Light femdom. I like slapping someone around sometimes. And being slapped around sometimes. Both are exciting. It depends on the person, really. That you're, you know, doing the slap. You know what I mean. Did I make it weird? Oh, it got weird. Hmm? Mm, to who? It's cool. It's fine. To me? Because I stopped talking? No. Chat. Oh. It's cool. Oh. 
Someone told me they think I'm chaotic good in real life, and I thought that was a really nice compliment, because I always thought I was an evil person. With good intentions. Was it me that called you chaotic good? I don't remember. Maybe. In which case, thank you very much. Cause I, I think it was when you were doing all the tests with your sister. Oh, maybe it was. It was funny because I found a meme the other day and it said chaotic neutral, doing all the right things all the wrong way. All the wrong ways. And I was like, wow, if I can't identify with that, I don't know what I identify with anymore. Because that is pretty much my MO. I'm trying to do the right thing. Fuck it up, but I tried. And that's the important thing. Are we crying? Mm -hmm. Or not? You tried. I tried. Aw, oh, thank you, Jackie. You want to know a funny story about that toy? You can't see it. So they sell these toys that are basically not stuffed. They're like this long cylindrical, like a fox or a raccoon or whatever, but they have no stuffing in them. And when Millie was a baby, I got her a fox and we called it Weird Fox Thing. And it was her favorite toy in the entire world. And I found the exact one at a pet store and I bought it for them and they love it. That's what they're fighting over is Weird Fox Thing. Yeah. Yes, they love them. And I love them because they can't gut them. Yeah, it's pretty cute. They actually have two. They have a fox and a raccoon. But you can kind of see it. It's no, you probably can't. They love it and it's adorable. It was just coincidence that they loved it. I actually think I like teared up a little bit when they loved it. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so I'm an emotional sack. Andrew, I'd say you are a neutral. Hmm. I think you're a good neutral. I would call you good neutral because I think you have a good intentions, you have a good heart but you don't necessarily like serve some greater power to be like good. And you're not like, you don't have like this internal compass that like drives you to morally do certain things a certain way, no matter what, because of your internal compass, you do good things because they are good. So that's where I think I'd get the neutral from. Correct me if I'm wrong in that. Wild card bitches, knives. What the, what the fuck is a wild card? I could ween, how are you love? Let's see. I'm kind of addicted to symmetry. How do you feel about it in this game, Eliza? <laughs> Have you seen my eye on? Not yet. I haven't looked yet because I've been focused on it's mine, but I'll come. Not super. I mean, it's fairly symmetrical. I did what I had to at the beginning, but things get changed. And they gave me a really fucking small starting spot. Like, I have to really expand out to have any space on my island. Yeah. I started in between like a cliff and a giant mountain. Me too. Dude, you have space though. Do I have more space than you? Oh, wow. Cause I'm definitely yeah. between a cliff and a mountain, but Jesus. I mean, they... maybe you'll just have to go to a new island. Can you do that? Like uh, inhabit more than one? Yeah, you can, but it's a pain in the ass because it's managing two villages now instead of one they don't share oh. like your client stuff you have to you have to send boats over with trade if you want to do that oh that's lame. yeah like you can use your ships to trade between your islands to make it so you don't need to have all the resources yeah but like that takes up a boat yeah what's the point i can't do that that early game either because i don't have clay you need like clay steel uh, maybe weapons? Am I mostly spot on? Fuck yeah, Andrew. Probably chaotic, chaotic neutral. Why chaotic? Like, what defines. Are your dogs okay? Yeah, they're fighting with each other. The Don't be mean. Hey. Fighting. Um, yeah. So people call me chaotic all the time, like in general, my personality. But what is that? I don't think it means the same thing in D&D that it means in real life. Uh, I think it's the same alignments, D and D and, and real life alignments, when like people refer to you as it. For energetic, yeah, I am energetic. 
I mean, I can. I mean, it's fair to say I can be kind of chaotic in that I kind of flip from one thing to the next, but that's just, that's just me. I get bored easily, and if I see something more exciting, I jump to it really quickly. They are horse shit. I'm doing like, it's, it's like we're talking about astrology right now. You know what I mean? Like, what do you think you are? I don't like them in a D&D character because it puts a limit on your RPing that's dumb. You should just, it go, that's just what my character would do because of the alignment. No, shut up. Shut your dumb face. No, it's not. And that's what I'm saying and I'm sticking to it. I'm not lawful. Like my IRL self, I definitely am not. I'm, I think a lot of laws are kind of bullshit. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> oh, it's fucking hungry. <laughs> Dude, no space, Dan. Have you ever played any of the Anno games? I'd love to play the other ones. Someone earlier asked if I plan to, um, and Eliza was talking and I just forgot. Um, yes, I plan to. Absolutely. The Anno games are incredible. Yeah, they're so much fun. I just have to, I don't, I haven't bought any of the other ones because I've been playing this one. They're great. Yes, yes, I agree. Mucho. Press. Why are they all so sad? Yeah, it's a great paper. Send it, boys. Bitch. Yes, we're Word to your paper. mother. Really? I've never played any of the other ones. Which one's your guys' favorite? Is this not the best one? I literally bought this one because I googled one day best multiplayer builders. Because we were all hooked on, um, what was Stone I? Hearth. Stone Hearth. And Stone Hearth isn't supported and it's just a depressing game to play because everything's bugged and blah blah blah. So I bought it because it was that and it was like supposed to be the top one and we all really like it, but Oh, it's the newest one. That would make sense why it was on the list like that. I do whatever the fuck I want. I can, I'll change my character to whim. Like I go by certain rules, obviously. If I set up certain background and shit for my character, I won't just like go off and be stupid and go against what my character is. But your character is whatever the fuck you want it to be. So treat it like that. Like do something cool with it. Like, what were we talking about last night? Oh, we were telling Eliza, we were talking about like, um, upgrading your character, leveling up. And she was like, what should I do? I want to be helpful. And we were like, Jackie said something really poignant that I always usually tell people when they ask BRP advice. You got to pick something your character wants to do. Like what Zeke, Zeke's advice he gave me is your, give your, give your character a, a cornerstone, this thing that drives them through all of their life. Give them that and then that, and then just build around it. You know, tree off of that one thing and you can go all over the place with it, but at least you have this driving force that kind of gives you something. Because otherwise it's just, I'm gonna follow her. I'm gonna follow them. I'm gonna do I, that. Like, knew, I like know what I want to do, but I have no idea how to do it because I don't know anything about D&D &D, and that's more of what my question was. Yeah. Well, yeah, later tell me what you want to do. Don't yeah. tell everybody on stream, obviously. Oh no, no. Spoilers. Like I just, I want to be a, a helpful healer and I don't know how to do that like I don't know what in a bard is helpful healing and that's more of what my question was not necessarily like that's your cornerstone like she's born to help pretty much yeah why can I ask that is that like a backstory thing is there a reason she's like destined to be a slave to people my backstory is still like sort of in development because I'm not entirely sure how our story is right now. Like, I don't know why we're about Well, to if that's your personality, going. your backstory has to explain it because no one is like that naturally. Well, no, 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 no. It's so based off of what, L I don't know what you know on the story. Like, I don't remember what I was just talking to LZT offline about or not. Oh, I know. You don't want to spoil it. That's why I'm it. like, I don't want to spoil it for you. And that's why I'm like, what do I say? No, I get that. It's sort of based off of, I need, I, I sort of need to know more about w why 
we are where we are. Not in the intro campaign, but like our group I muscle why we babies. are where we are before I can fully finish my backstory. Because that's right like now cheating. my backstory not really. No, it's not. Because I'm looking at it like I'm a hermit, but I was that way because of whatever reason we are where we are right now. But like what I'm saying is you want to develop your character in the campaign. You don't want to make them perfect for the campaign. Because then you don't no, develop that's, anything. That's not necessarily what I mean, though. Like, it's more of a... It doesn't really matter what the reason is that we're... We are where we are. Like... I don't... I don't want to spoil or anything. No, I don't know. No. I don't know what is... We don't like, have to talk know. about it. No, 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 yeah. no. We don't have to talk about it. I was just saying that is how you build a character, usually. You find a cornerstone and build around that. But usually what I do, so it's fun, is I build a very broken character and then fix them in the campaign. And then that's, that's yeah, your that's cornerstone. Yeah, that's sort of what mine is, though. So make her super unhelpful right now. Do something stupid. And get better. Do something weird and get really fucking good at it. But I don't, I don't even know what's considered stupid. I don't know enough about D&D to, to, like... Pick that's something. why I'm like asking. Yeah, that's why I I'm mean, like... I mean, your ignorance makes any choice you make stupid. So just I pick keep... something. I keep asking if I can do something because everyone's like, oh, you can do anything in D&D. And like, for whatever reason, any question that I ask is always like the one thing you can't do in D&D. What did you want to do you can't do? I don't even remember anymore because it's like every question that I ask. I can't oh, do. <laughs> I was just curious. I don't know all the rules. I'm not perfect in any way, shape or form. Yeah, I literally made a character, like no one's seen my character yet, no spoilers, so I haven't, I haven't told any, I think, no, I haven't told anybody what my character is I was is in yet. your character creation, but I forget. So. Yeah. Um, but I built a character for our little offline campaign because A, this is my first campaign ever where I don't have to build a character to be entertaining to anyone else. It's only entertaining to me, which is really cool. And B, I've never built a character like this before, ever in my life, ever before. I, I literally just went for things I've never done. I was like, man, I want to do this and this and this. And LZT's like, cool, let's do this and this and this. And I was like, yeah. Like, he just helped me build this thing I've never done before. Because I've I've personally never done it. So I'm really excited to explore a new class, a new race, all this fucking shit I've just never done. It gives me something to, like, something other to explore so I'm not, like, focused on other people. That's, but that's just me. I see it as like starting a new game, you know? Like every every new character you make, you get to do whatever the fuck you want. It's like a new slate, a blank slate, if you will. It's fun, I love it. Dude, Reese, I know, everybody always wants to do magic. I warned, I warned somebody when you guys were doing character creation, I don't remember who it was. Magic is like the shittiest thing in D&D. I don't know why it's so fucking hard until you're like level 97. You get like one spell, it sucks, you're weak as fuck, you're squishy. If you're good with your magic power, you're a squishy piece of shit. If you're strong, your magic sucks. Magic is hard when you start low level, man. I feel bad because new people always want to do magic as magic. And you're, you want to tell them not to, but also you're like, eh, it's their right. It's fucking their game. It just sucks because it's really hard. Who has 800 health, Andrew? He was kidding. But who was he talking about? Me. Oh, okay. I, I, I knew he was kidding. I just didn't know who he was talking oh, about. Oh, I think me. I think me. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, There was like multiple conversations going on and I lost track. <laughs> it is like banished, but like way more shit you have to manage. Eliza and I, for some reason, have no one coming. I think we should almost start over, because where the fuck is everybody? They have to be all on the west. All right, they I'm going to send a ship over there. Fuck, I'm, I'm going to the far-ass corner. I'm just going to click this and drop This is so weird. I don't know how to look at our game settings. So, like, what did we do? What did I do? I saw them in the bottom part of our thing. I don't know. Uh, if you press save, Kate, if you, like, save our game, we go back to the title screen, and you go to launch this game and invite me back, you can see the people on the bottom. Okay. Oh, it just went to desktop instead? Okay. Oh, you sure. did 
yeah, that's fine. Is there a trickster kind of class? There is a rogue that you can make a trickster. I've done a, a what are they called? Gloom stalker. I did a tiefling gloom stalker rogue who wielded dual axes, mini axes, like little hatchets and a bow. She was super fucking fun. Um, and they can like hide in the dark. They can see in the dark perfectly. And if they stand still, you can't see them. They like chameleon to the dark. That was a really fun class to play. I'm a shooty bitch. I think you warned me. I, I think I tried to warn everybody because I remember I was there in chat when someone... Yeah, custom other factions on. I don't understand. Let's just, do you mind starting a new one? Are they all off? No, they're not. I just don't know what to do. Like nothing oh, yeah, is. That's fine. You can start a new one. Yeah, I just don't know what to do. I just want to start a new one and see if the same thing happens. Cause usually there's always someone nearby. But also this one's still saved. I'm not going to delete it or anything. I just want to. I just want to try. I don't know what to do. It's fucking weird. Yeah, I didn't even upgrade to commoners yet. I was taking my time. You don't have any DLC, do you? Um, how do I know? Um, when you load the game, it should have a little box that says additional content with all these little boxes and they should have a they bright- They all have lock icons. Okay, so no, you should get those. Cause they're done. Ugh. Eventually, you don't have to do it right now, obviously. How much are they? I don't even find DLC on you. Ooh, an arcane trister, trickster? I've never done that. I've done a rogue. I've done like a kind of a tanky shapeshifter type character. It wasn't D&D. I've done kind of a tanky character vampire in Vampire the Masquerade. I've done a Kenku. What was she? She was a Kenku bard. Oh my God, a Kenku bard. That was so much fucking fun. That was probably one of the most fun campaigns. It was a one shot. It's like a four hour one shot and it was so fucking funny. What DLC would you say I get? I have all of them. I just bought the pack. They all just give There's... you like prettier buildings, extra boat things, extra decorations. It's all vanity shit. It's up to you. You don't have to buy them. I just turn them off when we do multiplayer because I can't turn them on. If and you don't got them. See if I can add them to a wish list for like when they go on sale. Oh my god, Cinderella, that's so cute. I've always wanted to play a druid. Someday I want to do that. I want to do a druid or a healer. That is one thing I've never done, I don't think, as a healer. Both season, each season pack is 25. Uh, how many, how many fucking DLC is there? Uh, my additional content says six, Seven. but I bought this whole thing as a giant pack, so I don't know. Seven. The very front page additional content is seven thing medutes with locks. Oh, okay. Oh no, your voice. Oh, my bad. Hold on. Wait, I didn't have to do this last time. Weird. There we go. Good? Yeah. Okay. Where are they? Ugh. They always make me someone else. Until I turned into a cow during a huge fight. Get this. So that tiefling I was just talking about, similar. Um, it was my first ever like official D and D campaign. And so wax Steven helped me with it and it was super fun and he helped me build her. And he was like, I, I didn't understand anything. I was kind of like Eliza. I was like, I don't know anything. And he was like, let's just roll for everything then. Fuck it. And, uh, I ended up being a tiefling, which if you didn't know, they specialize in fire. Like they have fire powers naturally who was neurotically afraid of fire. That was dope. That was so much fun to role play. It gave me a challenge and it was really fun. I'm buying land to build earth ships on. You in? The fuck is an earth ship? But I'm down. Are these actually, are these other factions actually what? the other factions? Or are these the mission people? I'm going to. Catherine. I can't. Run.
Lilith crawled under my computer and made another monitor fucking flicker. So I did. I had to give her a talk. Sorry. Jean's knocked out by my door. You're a <laughs> shitty hippie. I know. I'm a shitty human, Scott. So, Come on. Let's, we don't need question. to get into specifics. Yes, go on. These bottom, the thing that says customize other factions, are these just mission people or are these actually other people that we play with? Because I'm pretty sure I have no idea. Because I've seen the madam person, Eli, and I think Isabel is all just like quest people who are like, unless they're also, what's happening? What did Scott just do? Oh! <gasps> Whoa! Stop, stop, stop. Shame. <gasps> wow, Scott. I even Big babysat fan. for you. Big fan. Rude. I'm just kidding. Please don't sub. It's a protection. What is it? <laughs> yeah, tell me what it is before I permit you, Scott. <laughs> It protects us from the dangers of the world, man. It's about Earth ships, Monka ass. I'm nervous. What? Okay, what is it? Watch this sometime. Hold up. I can't. Let's watch. I'm game. It's 14 minutes long. Scott. I'm not fucking watching. He said sometime. An Earth ship. So it's a Can house. I get a TLDR. Is it like a house, also a bunker? Dude, like, I'm I don't so in. I've always wanted to do a tiny house. You don't even have to tell me. You can tell Eliza, but I don't care. I'm in. As long as I don't have to like live with you. Can we have separate houses? I need my space. Are these like just fully self-sustaining tiny homes that are planted? Mm. You got me. I'm an easy sell. Anywhere that's like in nature, far away from humans, I'm down. A collection of them are Earth Spiritus. Yeah, he said they're kind of like permanent, self-sustaining, tiny homes. Permanent meaning like they're in the ground. If you unplug my shit again, I am going to fucking block it down there, bitch. Beat her up. I will. Okay, I'm ready. I'm already ready. Okay. <laughs> okay. Difficulty preset, normal. Let's do this. Lilith just keeps trying to go under my desk and she hits my cords. And it makes my shit flicker. It's fine. I love her. Okay, what kind of shit storm did I get in this time? Oh, a foggy one. Oh, okay, there she goes. There she blows. What did we get? A mountain to the left. Wow, I got a lot of land. How are you doing, Eliza? Bro, I got so much oil. Why? I just have a shit ton of land. I'm real excited about this. I have potato, grain, hops. I have grapes, nitra, grain, and potatoes. I have fur abundance as well. Fur? I don't have fur. Fuck, that'll be fun. Fur abundance. I don't know what that means, but I have it. It'll be cool. I'm excited. Do I play anywhere? Oh. All right, let's see. What a cute little stream. I could build along it. Bless. Or I could just leave it the fucking alone and put trees over there. That sounds like a better idea. I'm wondering if people still read novels or if that's dead as a general rule. If not... If it's not, I might write a novel, but I don't want to write a novel if novels are passe and no one's reading them. I read all the fucking time. I think there's a population of people that still read constantly. If it's an audiobook, I'll read it. I don't like labels. Someone came in earlier today and they're like, what are you? You have a gay flag in the back with 666 and cat ears and they said something else. And I was like, I don't know how to answer what that. Are you? An idiot sandwich. I'm an idiot sandwich. I don't know. I don't like labels. I'm just me. I'm Katie. Hello, Govna. I read books. I prefer having a physical book in my hand. Way 